Good afternoon, Professor Anand Kumar, and thank you for doing five questions with Metsolan. Sir, the first question is, in your 35 years of experience in urology and renal transplant, what, were the, what types of interesting cases, sir, you have come across? I have been doing kidney transplant for last 35 years, and uh, nowadays we see all kinds of complicated transplant patients referred to us across the world. Like we get uh, very patients with HIV infection, hepatitis infection, and we also get small children with renal failure, and we get patients who already had failed transplant, second transplant, third transplant, or have been rejected from the other center because of their poor cardiac conditions, their heart is not good, their lungs are not good, so they were refused surgery outside. So these patients come to us and in Max uh, Super Specialty Hospital here in Saket, we have a very good uh, super specialty care. So we have a very good doctors in heart, cardiac surgery, in lungs, in gastroenterology, in neurology. And we have a very good ICU setups and ICU experts so that even if we take a very complicated case, we can look after them. So that is the advantage and the strength of this hospital so that we can manage most of the complicated patients. Well noted, sir. Thank you. So your question second is, what are the risk factors that the patient is made aware of before going into surgery? The most important risk factor all patients should understand is the rejection. The rejection is one thing like when we take it, we take the kidney from the donor and give it to the recipient. Even we have done all the matching and all the tests, still 10-15% people may get rejection. Rejection is not in the hand of the surgery and it is not related to the operation or the surgeon or the doctor. Rejection is because of the patient body is not accepting the kidney and his there is immunological reaction is going on. But nowadays we can treat at least 80% rejection but there will be a 10-15% rejection which cannot be treated and kidney may get lost. And at that stage, it is not the fault of the hospital, doctors or anything. It is the immunological reaction between the donor kidney and patient blood and which is beyond the control of anybody. That is one they should understand. Second thing, after the operation, we give immunosuppression. So we weaken the patient immunity so that kidney is accepted to the body. And in that process, sometimes some opportunistic infection can happen, TB can come back, lung infection can come back, fungus infection can come back, and then patient may get sick. That's why in post-operative period, they need a constant care by the transplant surgeons, nephrologists, physicians, lung experts, so that if there is any infection, that can be treated. Third thing, we notice that patients once they start doing well, they forget and sometimes they don't take medicine properly or they miss the dose and they become careless. And that is the time reaction comes back and they start losing the kidney. And the biggest problem we have faced is the patient after the operation, they go to the other country and there, uh, the, if they do not get proper support and care, then there is a problem and uh, which is detected late and then they come here, it becomes quite late. Thank you for the elaborative answer, sir. Your next question is, what kind of post-surgery support do we offer to patients? See, we always insist all patients should stay at least six weeks after the transplant. Invariably, they spend three to four weeks before the transplant. So usually patients should come for three months. And around six weeks time, the patient is most of the pump problem is settled and blood levels have achieved. Kidney is more or less working very well. There is no infection so that patient can go back. We always insist that you should be in touch with the nephrologist, transplant surgeons or transplant physician in your country. Give their address, email, uh, phone number to us so that we can speak to them. We give very detailed summary. Everything is written in that, what to do. But we tell that you keep doing your test and send it all your reports by email so that we can keep advising. And in some of the places we are trying to develop the facility so that uh, with this cap uh, this um, we can uh, do the telemedicine we can talk to the patient through the video conferencing with the skype or some other uh, methods and uh, we can also give what whenever we get email we reply to them and we tell them at three months six months or one year interval you should come back here 
and get detailed test done so that we know how you are doing or if anything is to be done that we can do it well noted sir uh, sir as you mentioned that you have a experience of you have such a vast experience of 35 years so the next question is uh, how are the healthcare technology and treatments in india are rated across the world now in, in india especially some of the private hospital like max hospital and in major cities like uh, delhi mumbai chennai bangalore ahmedabad we have a very we have excellent hospitals with all the facilities which you can match with any western hospitals like our results of transplant is as good as any american hospitals except we have some little post after 2 3 months 6 month little higher rate of infection which probably related to the hygiene and care of the patients and as far as technology is concerned we have everything including the robotic surgery and you will be delighted to know that we do robotic kidney transplant we take the kidney laparoscopically out and put the kidney with a small incision into the abdomen and do the surgery with the robotic we have till now done 25 robotic transplants the advantage is patient has a very small incision patient start walking next day and discharge within a week and very and for females and obese patient it is a boon and they love it very small incision and in obese patient because of the robotic surgery small incision they do not develop wound infection which is very common in open surgery and we have all kinds of test available all kinds of diagnostic are available all kinds of experts expert doctors are available so because of that patient get uh, world class care at a less at a less cost than what they'll be spending outside so that is that one that we provide world class service at very economical rate which is not possible in any other country so final question uh, again is it is related to your experience so could you just tell us that how many successful surgeries in all you have performed in your career till date i have done over 3500 kidney transplant till now which includes all kinds of patients second transplant third transplant very highly sensitized patient abo incompatible transplant or children transplant plus we also do all kinds of complicated urological surgery like kidney cancer prostate cancer bladder cancer and all these cancer surgery is done with the help of the robot or laparoscopic surgery and all stone surgery is done by endourological method with the help of the laser so we don't give any incision any cut for the stone surgery and prostate surgery is done with the homium laser or green light laser so our uh, urology and transplant center is very well equipped we have all the facility world class facility and most of the procedures are done with the help of robot laparoscopic endourology laser and hardly any patient undergoes open surgery Uh, professor kumar thank you for your time sir have a good day thank you